sanctions and benefit cuts force people into food poverty. We were scandalised that people had to search through bins, rubbish bins. People use food banks on their work break. Um, there are statistics that say most people are only one month's salary short of struggling to, to meet their bills and food. Um, when I think of a food bank, I think of um, people in need of food, like in desperate need of food. And um, food banks provide this uh, brilliant service where they can give people who need food who are in dire straits to get food. Food banks are charitable organisations which are held at different locations for people to go when they need food or when they're in aid and they're hungry. I think food banks are really helpful. Uh, they're a really good thing for people to go to for help and it's a great thing that people are doing for the public. Food banks are uh, like um, somewhere where, like people who don't have an um, like obviously like poor people generally go to get like uh, it's normally like cans of food and stuff like that. It's like stuff that doesn't go out of date easily so like if it's an emergency they can get like free food and stuff. Well, food banks are like so obviously if you haven't got the funds to buy it, food or like you need like yeah, obviously, if you haven't got the funds to buy food, you can go in. It like, helps you get food, like tin stuff. Um, my opinion of a food bank is a place where people go when they can't, not necessarily less afford, fortunate. yeah, like less fortunate because you know food shopping can be quite expensive. So they go there to get their everyday needs, like toothpaste, food, and just luxuries like that. Uh, I think it's definitely a good thing, um, and I really don't think that they get enough support. I think they should get a lot more support because they help those that really need the help from the food. This is Harry Hill Food Bank and I got the opportunity to spend some time and to understand how these organisations work. It's a place where people donate food and um, it's a place where people come and collect food when they're in short term crisis. So really it's a community project um, that works for everyone in the community. People are donating and people are uh, are using the benefits. So. Well, they've got to be referred to us by a professional agency. So we've got um, there's school support workers that are registered with us. Um, there's Citizens Advice Bureau, uh, Children's Social Services, Housing Associations. So the idea is that the client is already known to that organisation, and they know they can assess that it's a genuine crisis. And um, then they're given a voucher, which they can come here and, and get their food. Yes, um, we run a, a job club uh, to help people into employment with uh, interview mentoring and help with their CVs. Um, we also refer for uh, people to um, CAP, which is Christians Against Poverty, one of the best debt agencies in the country, and, um, and various. We also put, supply toiletries when we've got them in stock, uh, and baby clothes and, and things like that. Um, there's probably never going to be enough done, there's always going to be um, these sort of things. Um, but in, in this particular community, uh, people are working very hard to, to alleviate that. Um, just uh, send us an email, give us a call, come and see us, we'll give you an application form. Uh, we still have to go through all the process of getting references and everything like that, um, but it is, it's fairly simple. We take them round and we go from the list so they can choose which cereal they want. This list says four tins of soup, so they can choose which flavour soup. Uh, beans are obviously beans of beans. Um, and we just follow all the way around with the list. They can choose four tins of vegetables, depending on the size of the family, or they've got a choice between pasta or rice. Then we've got tin meat, uh, tin fruit, um, milk, and what have you. And then at the end here, um, few snacks and some extras so that's roughly how uh, that works in here and then our volunteers will pack the bags for the um, for the client and then the last thing we do they just have to sign for it as they leave and the food is weighed out we have a set of scales so all their food is weighed out that's how I can tell you that we gave out 20 tons of food just from this food bank last year. <laughs>